Hello for another day at the Eurovision world and today we have Armenia and it's the song of La Daniva and it's called Yako or Jako. I don't know, this is but probably in Armenian. So it's like Yako or Jako and La Daniva is a group of a man and a woman. I don't think it's her name only, the singer's name, I don't know, maybe it is only her name. And Armenia always puts one of the last countries that comes the songs out is always Armenia. And it's very exciting because last year Future Lover was in my top 10. It didn't go in the top 10 at the end of the results, but this is fine because I am still listening to the song and I really love, like Brunette. And I still listen to the songs of Brunette actually on Spotify. Um, but now we had La Daniva and I already heard a bit of the snippets and I can say that it's a traditional song. And I like, they went from an R&B uh, ballad to a traditional song. And this could actually work well because they are trying out. So will this try work? We don't know yet. But we'll find out. I just can see that for 7 hours the video has already 250,000 views, which is a lot. And now I am gonna start the reaction so I can see how the song is because it's 2 minutes 38 seconds, which means that they have another 20 seconds that they can play with on Eurovision. But if they will put it or not, we don't know yet. We'll figure it out. La Daniva. The song started. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da -da. She's beautiful. I love how she's smiling, like, it's coming. La 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 Jaco, so it's called Jaco. Um, what I can say already, it's probably, she's wearing probably traditional outfit. This I can see. I don't know the traditional outfits of Armenia, but this looks very traditional outfit. And the scenes are very like houses, like it's like very traditionally made probably. The, the beat is already traditional, like this. I can already sing that. I have no idea about what is she singing, but it's probably about the life in the village of La Daniva. She looks a bit like brunette, actually. She could definitely be the sister of Brunette. I can imagine her also singing this song at their weddings in Armenia. Why not? La 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 Okay, the beat is standing in your head. Like this kind of beat, exactly the la 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 I can already sing. So, I cannot sing the lyrics. This will probably take more than 10 listens until I get some of the lyrics to be able to sing them because it's fully Armenian from like from what I hear until now. And it's fun. It's a fun thing to watch. It's definitely going the direction of Greece because Greece is also going very traditionally beats there. The video clip is very also traditional, ethnic and Armenia also. So we have two songs this year that are like ethnic, traditional, and I hope they don't go against each other. I hope we have them both very high, but we cannot know until this moment starts, starts and happens. Are those tomatoes what she's having there? And there's so, so many... This moment will be, this moment that she's doing and the people are singing, this will be in the arena, there, a hundred percent, 
people will exactly sing this when she says Ele Leila and the people, all the crowd will sing the same thing, probably. She looks very energetic, I love that. Wow, La Daniva. First of all, I want to know what her name is. Is it La Daniva or are they both called La, La Daniva? Are they together? Are they always singing songs together? And the other thing that I want to know is if this is like also traditionality in it, like I hear it, like is it really a song that could play at a traditional Armenian wedding? I want to know that. Um, the song is different, it's not something that we have heard before. Um, Armenia is one of my favorite countries also in Eurovision because we have had Siru Show, which I loved. We have had the um, Anush and Aninka, the two sisters, the two sisters that were in 2010, one of my most favorite songs from um, Armenia also, also traditional, also in Armenian. It has also, it had also English parts. Um, and now we have this, and it's like, Armenia is going back and forth of trying out stuff, which many years works on them very good. Some years they finish like 15th, 13th. Um, I don't know, it's like, I like it. I like it a lot. It's like very fun to watch. The video clip is fun to watch. Um, easy to learn the melody. And actually the na 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 Jaco, Jaco. Um, what is Jaco meaning? Also, I don't know. Um, tell me in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the song. Um, tell me if it will qualify in your opinion. But it's different. Why not? But at the end of the day, I always ask and I always think like, ah, this could qualify. And at the end of the day, there are too many, too many qualifiers. But. We'll figure it out later. Now it's just the song coming out. Now we're just enjoying the music and we are having a very, very strong year. This I can say 100%.